Hello and welcome to YQ Academy Tutorials. My name is Priyanka and topic for today's discussion is switch case in JavaScript. So first let's see the flowchart of switch case and then we will write a program for switch case. Here the switch expression is evaluated once. Then the value of expression is compared with the value of each case if there is a match. The associated block of code is executed, otherwise the default block will be executed. Now let's see a program for this. I'm using Visual Studio code for running the program. And I created a new file namely switchcase.js. .js is the extension used for JavaScript in Visual Studio code. Here what I'll do, I'm going to ask pet name from the user. So the user will enter a pet name he owns. Then the pet name will be compared with the name written in each case and accordingly associated block will be executed. So for this purpose we need to define a prompt where user will enter a pet name. So for that let me first define prompt. So for that let me write prompt equals to here let me write pet is equals to prompt and then the message I need to show to the user like enter the pet you owns and then let's write switch and then the variable name that is pet where user will enter the pet name and now let's write case and if the entered uh, a pet name is dog then I need to show a message which I need to write in console.log I own a dog. And then let's write break. Now let me uh, repeat this piece of code like this. And let me change the value in each case, like here I'm taking as parrot. I need to give a default as well and in this default let me show a message for the user like I don't own any pet now let's understand this program here uh, this is just for um, asking user to enter a pet name and then we write switch in cases. So in switch, we give expression or any variable we need to match it with the cases. So here we take cases as dog, parrot, fish, cat, hamster. And if the pet name user entered is dog, then this statement will be executed. If the user entered parrot, then this statement will be executed and so on. And if user entered uh, some pet other than dog, parrot, fish, cat and hamster and the default statement would be executed. So to see the output let's write uh, node and then the file name that is switch case.js and on clicking the enter button a uh, message is displayed for the user like enter uh, the pet you owns. So let me write uh, uh, if I own dog. And on clicking the enter button, I can see the output as I own a dog because uh, this statement will be executed. And take another example. Now let's uh, write uh, um, hamster. And on clicking the enter button, we can see the output as I own a uh, hamster. Because this uh, case value is matched with the entered, um, entered value. So uh, this piece of code will be executed. Um, now what happened? If a user entered something which is not uh, matched with any case, so let me write I own a. So this time let me write I own a pig, for example. Now uh, here we can see the output as I don't own a pet because this value didn't match with any of the value uh, given in the cases. So the default case will be executed. Um, let me explain you one more thing that if you don't give this break then what happened? 
so let me delete this break now what happened um, let me show you it with an example uh, suppose I entered um, talk here so you can see uh, if you don't give break then what happened the remaining part of the code will also get executed and from where you have given break so the remaining piece of code will not be executed so here um, a break is not given over here and break is not given over here so these three codes will be executed so here uh, since the value is uh, uh, given as dog and then this case is true so um, this is the real output, but we can see uh, the remaining two outputs unnecessarily because we didn't give break and since we didn't give break therefore these two uh, Statements also gets executed. So this is all about switch case in JavaScript. Thank you for watching